Look at this, a road that goes to nowhere. <laughs> Dave, this is the last time I go somewhere with you, okay? Oh, this just brings me back on. <laughs> Hello! Ha! We are in Utah. Oh yeah, if you watched the last video, it was just like a silly uncut in the hotel room. It was totally ridiculous. We let Dave talk way too much. Promise we won't be doing that too much this trip. See? Good boy. We're going to get some coffee and then we're going to check out Jason Nelson's Pituophis aka bull snakes and Dave's gonna do a nice episode there but I'll show you guys some of the snakes there as well and then Clint is going to take us herping to hopefully find a very very cool species that I would love to find in the wild Starbucks nitro cold brew a sausage and cheddar medium breakfast blend make that a large what is that called here three creams four sugars a couple of ice cubes sprinkle a love and devotion in that coffee I think that'll do it <laughs> <laughs> Oakland Raiders Now, there's a lot of confusion with Christmas Mountain. A lot of people call them Christmas Mountain bull snakes, but it's out of the bull snake range where Christmas Mountain is in Texas. How chill are these babies? They're super duper chill. I was not expecting chill, I was expecting a bite, bite, bite. All right, is there anything better in the world than having a handful of baby bull snakes? <sighs> I mean, when it comes to snakes, not really. No, no. Here, go back, little buddy. You know what it is actually better than a handful of babies? Two handfuls of babies. There you go. Oh, I concur. <laughs> He's just kind of viperizing there. That's the word I just made up. <laughs> viperizing. Viperizing. Acting like a viper. If you're acting like a viper, you're viperizing. Look at those little babies in Brian's hand. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, just awesome. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. All of these racks. So let's get... So we're going to spend pretty much... So we're going to spend pretty much the entire day over here looking through all of these racks of these really awesome pitchy office. So anyway... Uh, I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. <laughs> Why is that funny? I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it just doesn't get old for me, Dave. It, no matter how many times I watch you do it, it's just never going to get old. I hope you guys enjoyed the pitch office there at Jason Nellis' place. Uh, his company is Envy Reptiles. Thank you again, Jason, for having us. That was really cool. Got to have a little experience there with them. Mexican black king snakes. So the Pituophis were so strike happy, but not actually bite happy. I felt like I was getting sold short and I needed to feel the tooth in my skin. So I lashed on there for a while and it actually felt really good. I had, I had a tiny bit of a headache. And I think it was a little bit of acupuncture therapy right there on my meaty part of my hand. It actually made my headache go away having that snake wrapped on there. Now we're out here with Clint. Clint is bringing us out to one of his local herb spots, which is gorgeous. This is the first time I felt like I'm actually in Utah. Now that we're up in yeah, these spots. What do, you, what do you call this place? I call it Little Moab. That is not what it's called. I believe it's called Red Ledges. What do you call it, Dave? Beautiful. Jason had a good joke about uh, since Pituophis have such fragrant uh, fecal matter, he, he calls them Pinchalophis, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I thought was mm -hmm. hilarious. And then Dave's idea for uh, what it is to actually Pinchalophis here in this state is, uh, you, how's it go? You Clint <laughs> brought us up here to kill us. <laughs> so it is about a hundred degrees out here right now, so I'm not sure exactly what we'll find in this heat, but 
we are going to go to the top too where it's actually a, kind of a separate ecosystem that Clint was mentioning so we just gotten started so keep you posted on what we find. One of my favorite things about herping is that even if you don't get that gold star in your cap for the finding the snake or the the herp you at least were out enjoying the wilderness. So we're going to try to noose this little dude. There you go. Now he's going to eat it. Oh, come on. We have spiders. sagebrush lizards. Got him. Brian. Victory for Brian. <sighs> All right, so uh, Brian just uh, reaches up there and grabs yeah, little yeah. dude. We do catch these guys almost every day in the front yard. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up, up, up. I let him go to you. Yeah, All right, wait your turn. You? Yeah. Mind taking that just for yeah. one sec? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, buddy. So they definitely look different than any of the ones we find in California as far as patterns. He's lighter, he's lighter in color. He's got a bit more striping than the ones we see in our front yard, but very, very similar. But the one thing for sure is that those blue sides on the belly. So you got him right now? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah look at that. Cute little lizard. Man, on a 100 degree day like this, this is what we're gonna really be finding. I'm up! I got up the wall! It's amazing when you're in the dry heat how much body. cooler it is in the shade. And you wouldn't be able to pull this off if there were any humidity in the air. And I've also discovered that Owen is a master climber. So he wasn't joking, once we get to the top here, it's definitely a change in ecosystem. We got these, these junipers? These are cedar. This is cedar? Pretty sure. You might be right though, I think you're right. I think the, I've always thought of them as being cedar, but that is not cedar. You're right. Juniper. You're absolutely right. We could make some gin and sell them to the state liquor store. Nah, that'd take too long. Well, that <laughs> Didn't expect to see a black widow up here. I guess I should have expected the phone to die, but it did come back alive even despite the heat so we can get you this nice 360 shot of what I call the secondary benefit of herping. If you don't find something, you always find something. That river's looking pretty inviting. <laughs> That was a lot of bugs. We floated down the river to Utah Lake and hoping to find some kind of snake. But worst case scenario, we don't find any snakes out here. Nothing. We will be traveling to Clint's reptile room. Is that correct, yeah, Clint? There, there are snakes. There are snakes in Clint's reptile room. So if we don't find any right here at Utah Lake, we will still have more animals for you. So fret not. Woo. Oh my God, look Woo. at all these flies. That is a delightful feeling. Holy crap. It is kind of cool. All right, so as I was saying, if we don't find any reptiles here, we are going to go over to Clint's house where there are reptiles. Did I say it just like you? <laughs> look at this. Oh, God, look at Brian. Dave, that, this is the last time I go somewhere with oh, you, okay? That just brings me back. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me right back to Australia. <laughs> Holy buckets. <laughs> Are you okay there, buddy? All right, let's run, let's run. Oh, look. Oh, you got some? Dinner. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, protein. No, oh, yeah, no we, good. We got it made now. You want to take a peek in that irrigation canal at all? Uh, not really. Okay, I saw one dead garter by there. I saw own. that, yeah. Okay, then I think we need to... We need to turn around? Yeah. Okay, I'll follow there. you. They're invasive here, so... Yeah, right. He needed to be rehomed. Dark and beautiful. I've got a, another one that's also uh, an invasive one that was cut from here. It's much lighter. Very big price, okay? Dude, how sweet is Clint's spot? Clint's reptile house. Obviously, not a whole lot of people coming in here right now, but he's got his little studio over here where he does stuff. I know we didn't find a ton of animals for you guys today, but you know, we got lots more herping to do out there, so we'll find you guys some cool stuff. Yeah, they're amazing. Check this guy's out, Snake. Check this guy's out, 
Snake. <laughs> Check this guys out, Snake. <laughs> BCL. There you go. I told you I'd, you'd get to see another snake before we left. Look at this beautiful studio back here. It's fun to sit in it. I feel like I should say something like, well, hi there. <laughs> All right, guys, we got more adventures for you coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on... What day is it today? Let's shoot for Monday. I might even give you guys some bonus videos coming up. So just be ready. They're coming at you. We can call it Sunday. We'll call it Sunday.